Thermotron. So in our environmental chamber, we have a Glock OEM G17 magazine and a Magpul G17 magazine. Both are loaded with 17 rounds of 9mm. They're dummy, no primer or powder. We are going to run a test for 24 hours at negative 60 degrees Celsius and do a 6 foot drop test and see if they survive. And we are going to start today's date is Tuesday, November 24th, 2015. 17 17. Now we're going to start our test. Mm. So we're about an hour into our test. We're at negative 60.9 degrees Celsius. And there are our two magazines. We will check back in about 24 hours. Eight hours and 19 minutes. So our test has been running for a little over 24 hours. We're still at negative 60. Both of our magazines are still there. We are gonna drop these from a little over seven feet. We're at about 91 inches. We're gonna drop them onto concrete and see what happens to them. So we're gonna stop the test. We're gonna take one out and shut the door and then drop the other one. It's too cold for it to read. This is the Magpul. So there you have it, after spending a little over 24 hours in the Thermotron at negative 60 degrees Celsius, we dropped both magazines. The Magpul on the right didn't crack there until the second drop. 
didn't crack it very far. I mean, the rest of the body is still in good shape. Certain, all the condensation's starting to come on it now. The Magpul one broke after the first drop. Second drop, it didn't break anymore. More than likely, the polymer is a little thinner on this because it's steel lined. Well, there you have it. No complete destruction after being dropped that cold. I'm sure these probably would still function okay in the gun. It's just the front of the magazine that's cracked right there. They may not be the most reliable ones. That one might get squeezed together a little bit. So what else can we subject to the Thermotron at negative 60 degrees Celsius? Until next time, thanks for watching everybody.